everyone. I have a very quick chair yoga for you all today. So um, grab a chair. I like to use a towel to help protect the wall from getting any scuffs on it. Um, you can set it on your mat um, to help prevent any sliding that could take place. Um, or if you're on carpet, no, no real need for, for a mat. Um, so feel free to pause the video here, uh, gather your equipment if you'd like to join us for this chair yoga class. So if you're like me and you've been working from home recently, um, you might have a love-hate relationship with sitting all day. Um, this is going to be a nice quick yoga uh, to help stretch out your back, get a little bit of toning in your core, as well as uh, some, some arm ex uh, exercises. So we'll start, place yourself on the edge of the seat, plant your feet squarely, lift and spread the toes, let them rest gently. Hands can come to your thighs, and just take a seated cat-cow. Always feels good if you're on the floor, on your hands or knees, or if you're sitting in a chair. So take a deep inhale, lift the gaze up, arch the back, bringing the gaze up towards the sky, point your tailbone towards the back of the room. As you exhale, round the spine, drawing the chin down into the chest. Feel that nice stretch. And inhaling, lifting the gaze. Pulling the shoulder blades back and down. Exhaling. Rounding down into the pose. Inhaling again. Giving a little bit of movement in our spine. Taking the time to release some of the tension or pressure that's been building as we sit potentially at our home offices. It's easy to find yourself sitting in one position for long periods of time. Your next inhale, rise back up to a neutral spine. Roll the shoulder blades forward, up, back and down. Take a nice broad chest opening position here. Next pose is we'll be doing some barrel rolls with our chest. So imagining that we're scraping the inside of a barrel with our chest and our backs. Feeling a nice opening in the hips, in the lower back. Keeping those feet grounded into the floor. You might enjoy a slightly wider position with the feet here if you're finding that you're having a hard time clearing your thighs with your belly like I am. Now let's reverse the direction of those barrel rolls. Imagine feeling your shoulder blades and your chest rubbing against this barrel as we make these big round movements here. Remembering to take those nice slow deep breaths. Coming back up to a nice straight spine. Again, we'll just roll those shoulder blades forward, up, back and down. A nice little reminder to keep our spine nice and straight as we move through these poses. We'll take a nice little calf stretch here. So starting with one leg, extend it out full on the floor. Flex your toes so they point up towards the sky. You can kick your shoes off here if that feels nice. So feeling that nice stretch already in the back of the calf here, maybe even in part of the thigh. Remember not to 
block your knee by pushing it farther down than, than you want. Slight bend here in the knee is going to protect the knee joint. And remember to pull those toes back so you get that nice stretch here in the back. So lifting long through the spine. We're going to exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Keep the spine nice and long here as we forward fold. Here's where we start to get more of the stretch in the back of the thigh. So lower your chin to your chest if you'd like a little neck stretch. Remember we're going to keep the shoulder blades pulling back and down. Chin to chest, maybe moving the head from side to side. Gentle stretch in the neck. Coming back to center, lengthen through the spine on your inhale, growing a little longer. Exhale, maybe folding a little more forward into this pose. As we were warming up the muscles, just being able to, to lean into it just a little bit more. Remembering to breathe. And then exhale, slowly coming back up. Switching sides. Extend the other leg out in front. Remember, don't hyperextend the knee, so keep a gentle bend in the knee. Flex the toes back towards the face. Feel that nice stretch in the back of the calf as we just enjoy this first part of the pose. Let's readjust our shoulders, growing a nice long spine behind us. Long in the neck with a slight tuck in the chin here. Then we'll exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Nice long spine here. Feeling that stretch intensify running along the back of the leg. Feeling this nice stretch. Take an inhale, grow a little longer in the spine, and then exhale, hinge again, maybe a little deeper into the pose. You might also be experiencing a little stretch in the lower back. Should feel nice. If it doesn't feel nice, back out of it. Engaging the core, slowly raise back up. Now extend your right foot out in front of you. We're taking some modifications for a, a seated figure four pose. So cross your right ankle over that left shin. You might notice a stretch here already taking place in your left, or yeah, in your left thigh. You'll notice as you hinge forward, you'll get a little more stretch coming through this IT band. We can modify this to feel a little more stretch or intensity by bending the leg and then crossing the other foot over, hooking the ankle over the thigh. Remember to flex your toes towards the knee. So modifications, lengthen here and forward fold or bend into the classic forward fold position. From here, grow long in the spine. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Pausing to notice where it feels nice. Where's your edge and where do you think you could go a little deeper? Breathing into these spots. Making sure that everything feels nice, that you aren't pushing anything. Using your breath to sink a little deeper into the pose, keeping your spine still nice and straight here. You can tuck your chin into your chest again to enjoy a little neck stretch here, stretching out the trapezius muscles.
Take another breath here, maybe fold a little deeper. Then using your core strength, slowly inhale back up. Uncross the leg. Replant the feet. Switching sides. Either finding this modification with the other leg, a gentle cross over here. And this can be, you know, just crossing the legs like this or creeping it up slowly, feeling how your hip is responding to this. Or bending the knee, flexing that top foot, and then hinging forward from the hips. Connecting with your breath, keeping the spine nice and long. You might find a little extra space here to hinge forward more on your exhale, sinking down into the pose. When you found a comfortable spot where you found your edge, you're welcome to take a little bit of movement in your head and your neck, just stretching out, releasing any tension that might have accumulated in your neck. Take a nice deep breath here, maybe find a new edge. And as you exhale, slowly rise back up. Uncross the legs. Place the hands on either side of the chair. You can take a little seated windshield wiper, moving the knees from side to side, just helping release and relax any, anything that's accumulated in the hips. Coming back to center, plant your feet firmly, inhale, rise to standing. We'll inhale, lift the arms up overhead and just feel this nice stretch through the body. Clasp your fingers overhead into prayer pose or that yoga gun and then lean from side to side very slowly on your exhale, leaning using your inhale to rise back up. Exhale, leaning to the other side. Inhale, rise back up. Release your arms back down by your side. Roll the shoulder blades again. Just backing down any sort of wiggle or movement that you need to take. Woo, you're standing. So turn to face your chair now. Doing a downward facing dog pose using our chair. Now lift your arms up overhead, bring your gaze up towards your fingertips. We're going to exhale, hinge forward from the hips, leaning, leaning forward, coming into a nice forward fold. Just enjoy a gentle sway from side to side here for a moment. Inhale, plant your hands on your shins, rise up halfway, nice long flat back. And using the core strength, extend one arm out and then another out to your chair. Reposition your feet so you feel a little maybe farther away and then push through the hands, lift the tailbone up towards the sky, slowly drop your head, your neck, your shoulders down. Feel that nice opening in the shoulder blades, nice stretch in the back of the legs. You can make any adjustments that you'd like here, walking the feet out more if that feels nice. Maybe a closer stance for you. Play with this. Right now the chair is your friend. So find something that feels good here. Just sink into it for a moment. On your next inhale, bring your gaze to your fingertips. 
We're going to exhale, roll forward. We're going to take a modified plank pose. So this is some of that core activity that I've alluded to. Draw the belly in towards the backbone. Pull the shoulders down your back. Swivel the elbows so that they point towards your body instead of out towards the side. Push through the arms. Keeping the core engaged and firm. Take a few breaths here. Now continue to hold your plank or bend your elbows back towards your body. Lower down into a modified chaturanga pose and then exhale, push back up. Again, bend the elbows. Exhale, push back up. Bend the elbows and push back up. Walk the feet up to the chair. Roll your body back up. Lift the arms up, back overhead. Exhale, bring the hands back to our heart center. Wiggle out the arms if that was like, oh, I haven't done an arm exercise for a long time. And a little jiggle. All right, side plank. Find a nice position near your chair. You lean your arm over onto the chair. Walk your feet out beside you. Straighten out your body. So a modification is you can keep your leg here. You can cross this foot back behind you. Find something that feels stable and nice. Um, this is the more advanced version of this side angle pose. So draw this side body in without kinking yourself. Find a nice neutral plank. Now lift the arm up towards the sky. Remember to breathe. If this is a cakewalk, you could add a little bit of uh, hip and thigh activity. So lifting the leg up towards the sky and lowering it back down towards the floor. Stay here, stay here, um, or join me in some leg lifts. All right, ready? We'll do six of these. And your exhale, lift. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the leg back down, drop the arm back down towards the chair, walk your feet towards the chair, take a little forward fold here, take some pressure off your lower back. Oh, nice. Now repeating on the other side, I'll turn my back to you now for this. Planting the hand on the chair, walk the feet out to a nice comfortable position. Find again that pose that works for you. Might be a foot out towards the side. Could be, where was I? There, some, some modification. Draw the side body in. Feel those uh, oblique muscles pulling yourself into a nice long straight line. Extend the other arm up towards the sky. Remembering to breathe. And feel free to stay here or join me for those six leg lifts. On your exhale, kick up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the arm back down. Walk the feet back forward. Enjoy another forward fold. Now to rise back up. Making your way back onto the chair. Sit yourself down. I'm going to do some tricep dips. So place your hands on both sides of the chair. We are going to scooch our booty off the chair to hover. All right, we're going to make sure that we've got lots of space in the neck here so you aren't crunching down. Growing nice and long. 
We're gonna bend our elbows and lower our butt down towards the floor, not touching, but just to our, to our level that we like. <laughs> Exhale to rise. Lifting. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. We'll do two more. Scoot your booty back onto the chair. Lift the arms up overhead, feel a nice stretch. And bring the arms back out in front of you, grab one arm and cross it over your body. Get a nice little stretch in the tricep. Cross the other arm towards the other side. gentle twist here. Again, inhale the arms back up overhead. Now exhale, twist over to one side. Place your arm on the chair. Place your other arm on your knee. Grow long through the spine. Again, slight tuck in the chin. You can bring your gaze over your shoulder. You can lower the ear towards the shoulder. You can also get a little bit more twist in the neck by gazing over the other shoulder. So some options here. You can also use slow semicircles here as we're stretching and twisting. You can explore it into your neck. Rising back up. Now lift the arms back up overhead. Exhale, twisting over to the other side. Again, grow long in the spine, broad in the shoulders. Finding some movement in the head and the neck, or some stillness in the head and the neck. Finding a spot that feels nice to just sink into. to center, lift the arms back up overhead, slowly lower one arm down towards the chair to your side, and then lean over to that side. Keep the shoulders pivoted so that they're parallel to the wall, so that you aren't rounding down into the pose, but you're growing long and nice and expansive here. Bring the gaze up towards those fingertips or towards the sky. the core. We'll exhale, rise all the way back up. Extend both arms up overhead. Lower the other arm down towards the chair and exhale. Roll over. Lean over towards the other side. Keeping the shoulder blades opening towards the side instead of rounding down. Opening up. Feel that nice stretch in the side body. Gazing up at the sky. in the core. We'll exhale, slowly rise back up. Open the feet out nice and wide. Roll the shoulder blades forward, up, back and down. And then just take a nice closing forward fold. 
Walking forward, hinging from the hips, and then rolling down. Oh. Let gravity just sink you down. And in that nice stretch in the lower back. As you exhale, rising back up, grow long in the spine. And then you're ready to get on with your day. Thank you so much for joining me today for this gentle yoga chair based class. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.